Hello there, it's me again. Uh, just give you a lowdown on um, all the drugs that I've been given. And there is a truckload of them, there's loads of them, and it's quite a lot to take in, so it's well worth listening in great detail. Um, when I was going through it, they had to actually call Georgia because I, I glazed over. I went into it thinking that the first part of the treatment was purely to get the bloods. It hadn't twigged in the slightest that it was going to be uh, the initial part of the chemotherapy, which I just could not seem to make a connection with. So, yeah, I was completely blanked out and wiped out. So, some of the drugs I've been given in the meantime, um, there's quite a, an invertible myriad of drugs that have been issued. Um, so, yeah, just to give you a lowdown, um, I've been given... What have we got? I've got, uh, I've got Messner, which is apparently something to line your bladder with. Um, when you first go into it, it's not very good to your bladder, uh, so I'm told. And uh, sausage fingers, excuse me. Um, so yeah, that, that something I've been told about to expect. And if you start um, passing any blood as you go through, do let people know very quickly. I'm sure it'll be, I'm going to be fine. I'm pretty good. I don't drink. I'm really quite well behaved in that manner, believe it or not, for a squaddy. Anyway, right, moving on. So that's the Messner covered. That's to protect your bladder. Uh, and they'll tell you exactly how to take those um, as you go through. As it happens, just a quick quick glance at these. These are... Wow. Take five, two hours. Well, you get the low down when you get them. Take loads of tablets. Uh, as you're told to do so. Uh, so that's the mess and sorted out. Uh, and then we have the uh, Don Perrin Don, which, yes, I said to them, is that, do people make reference to it sounding like Don Perrin Don? They said, yes, they do. And it was just sort of like, <laughs> I thought I was dead original doing it. But apparently not everybody does it. And I felt like such a sheepy, herdy type character for it. So try not to break that one. Okay, right, so that's the uh, Don Perry Don. Perry Don. That one there, that's uh, an anti-sickness drug, I think. Is that the one? Yeah, that's your anti one of the anti-sickness drugs you get given, because when you're obviously in the chemo, you want to be sick an awful lot. Uh, you'll be given two of these. As I say, there's a Don Perry Don, and then the other one is, I can read it, excuse me, it is, God, blimey, Amstat, on... On Duncetron. On Duncetron. I'm sure that's called something completely different, but that's that fella there. On Duncetron, you can see that. Yeah, okay, right, that's that fella there. So I'm given a lot, there's, you're given lots and lots of those uh, to be cracking on with. Uh, so, and from what I've read on the, all the webcast, well, the, all the webs, uh, the internet, bits and bobs, all the anti sick drugs, the emetics, uh, take them. So keep them close to you, so apparently, but I'm sure I'm going to be finding out as I go through this, starting from tomorrow. And so, yeah, so that's that's the... Uh, God, blimey. On Don Cetron. That's easy for me to say, isn't it? So you've got Don Perry and Don, and that one there, the On, on Don Cetron. They're both your anti-sick drugs, so keep them close by, I've been told, and what I've read in the paperwork as well. Um... So yeah, and then we've got, well, so obviously because you go for the chemo elements of it, um, so, I'm, so I'm informed, that your immune system does take a bit of a dip. And just to help ride you through that, we will be issued um, ciprofloxacin, ciprofloxac ciprof ciprof <laughs> oh my God, ciprofloxacin, um, it's these fella here. They're not exactly horse tranquilizer sized tablets, so they're more than tolerable and doable. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually debating whether I'm going to be rattling, so I'm never going to be able to hide around the house. Hide and seek can be a bit of a challenge, so I'm shuffling around the house and, and trying to hide. So, right, that's them. So that's the Messner to line your stomach. Then you've got the Don Perignon, which is your anti-sick drug. Then we've got the unpronounceable one that I can't seem to get the tongue around. Undone Cetron, which is another anti-sick anti -sick drug. So that's the main sort of quote. Oh, yeah, and then we've got the ciprofloxacin. God, dear, blimey. I'm sure the doctor will be laughing and scoffing at what I'm saying here. So oh, such a puppet. So that's those. That's your basic, they, they were your basic Mickey Mills. And then, so you can be taking them as you go through. And also, we've got this, got this fella here as well. 
So we've got this one here. This one is the Fulgrustim. Fulgrustim? Fulgrustim. So yeah, that's an injection that I'm going to be having to uh, administer myself, apparently in my stomach. Um, yeah, every day. And that's just part of the, the main sort of level of stimulation. The rest of it's control sickness, uh, damaging your, your, your bladder and keeping your, your immune system topped up, if you will, to fight any potential infections. So that's keeping everything ticking over in the background, stopping being feeling sick and stopping the infections creeping in and protecting your bladder. This one's the one that does all the magic. This is the one that stimulates all the uh, the magicness in your bones and uh, will will help you kick out all of the marvellous stem cells. We want squillions and squillions and squillions of those. So when we do um, actually get them reinserted back in us post-chemo, uh, they're going to be double well out and there's buckets of them. So that's what we're looking at for those. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be going into that tomorrow. And if you haven't noticed, there you go. Georgia thought it would be a good idea to dye the beard uh, a nifty colour and purple. It's the same colour as MS UK. That's their, that's their colour. Uh, although I will say it's not really taken on the sides very well. It seems to have only taken, curiously, on my grey bits. So if, you, if you're getting a bit old and grey, you want to go crazy with it. Um, if this falls out, meh, whatever. It's only taken me six years to do it. So 3rd of March was the day it was born. Uh, and so I'm going to have a day that I'll be able to sort of like put on the gravestone, if you will, for the beard. It's only just over six years old. Ah, bless it. So that's the lowdown on all the drugs. Um, see if we're all going to be rattling around as we go through it. Right, I think that's enough talking now because I'm going to come up to seven minutes. And if you manage to tolerate watching this, you're marvellous. And uh, yeah, let's crack on, let's do this. And I'm sure we'll smash through this all together. Big thumbs up and uh, I can't wait to make a start on it tomorrow. So see you then. Hopefully my bones and joints don't ache, because that's what I've been told. So it's going to be hips and knees and joints and where the, all the magic stuff works. So, yeah. All right, so uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you all again. And, uh, yeah, crack on. Stay lively and uh, stay gorgeous. I'll see you all later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.